Hey guys, this is Austin. I might not have a voice today, but what I do have is the Lenovo Mirage Solo with Daydream. Do you see what I did there? This is a very different way of doing VR. This is a very different way for me to talk in my videos. Because I'm sick. Of course, huge shout out to Lenovo for sponsoring this video. What makes the Mirage Solo a little bit different is that this is a properly powerful untethered VR headset. Inside, you'll find a 2560 by 1440 p 75Hz display. Now that high resolution, especially paired with the high frame rate, is really key to making the VR experience feel natural. One of the main advantages of using the Mirage Solo is that this is a fully standalone headset. I don't need to worry about my smartphone being plugged in and draining battery, and it's also a much smoother experience, largely due to, actually to the fact that it does have not only that high refresh rate display, but importantly it also does support world sense. So unlike most Daydream headsets which do rely on a little bit more of a limited bit of like gyroscope to be able to kind of place you in the world, we do have a full six degrees of freedom. What's really cool about this is that you can use it literally anywhere. I mean I'm in the middle of the park and I can easily be playing a game, watching a movie. It really does give you a lot of possibilities. The Mirage Solo runs on Daydream, Google's VR ecosystem. Surprisingly, it actually works really well. You have most of the different apps and features that you have on full Android just available in a headset form. That means that we've got apps such as YouTube VR. Now this will give you a ton of different options. So if I jump in here, not only do we have full 360 and 180 degree video, which looks great on the headset, but you can also watch standard 2D video like this. The way that works is it literally looks like I've just got a huge display in front of me, like a movie theater or something. So thanks to Dead Trigger and a few zombie friends, I can show a little bit more of the performance of what you can actually expect out of the Mirage Solo. Inside we have pretty decent specs, a Snapdragon 835 as well as 4 gigabytes of RAM. That's, that's bad, that's bad, no, 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 no. You should get 3 hours of battery life if you can survive the zombies that long. But there are a ton of games and apps that do work on the headset. It's not all about the Mirage Solo though, there's also this little guy, the Lenovo Mirage Camera with Daydream. This is not a 360 degree camera, it uses a pair of fisheye lenses up front to give you a 180 degree feel to view, or as Google calls the format, VR 180. This is a demo of what video looks like on the Mirage camera. One of the cool advantages of this format is that while you still get all the advantages of VR, you still do get a very wide field of view too. This is a full 180 degrees. What I like about this is it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to framing. So we can still have Ken, you know, behind the camera doing Ken things, but I can also pick it up and very easily do a little bit of vlogging. So what the really cool part about this is that because it is so wide, I know that I can always get the shot. And specifically, if you do have a smartphone, you can actually scroll down the video if you watch the raw stuff, link in the description. But it's a really, really cool aspect and a really cool way of shooting that you definitely don't get with any kind of standard camera. You can control the camera as well as play back the photos and videos using the VR180 app. So this is a little demo that we took in the car a couple days ago. So as you can see, what's really cool about the 180 format is specifically on a smartphone, you can pinch in, you can zoom around, but you do get that sort of full 180 degree field of view. So the video is a lot more immersive when you're watching it in the headset. So it's kind of hard to sort of give you a real demo without actually having one of your own, but it makes a huge difference. And because the camera will shoot at a full 4K resolution, we get those pixels all the way blown up. It makes a really big difference. I mean, I can see the detail on the gauges. I can see the terrified look on Ken's face. I can see Jay as he makes this tight corner and Oh, uh, uh. Well, yeah. Oh, dude, it actually feels really good if I like spin the chair as I see myself turn in the, the car. It actually feels like I'm really there. If you've never properly experienced VR, or maybe you've been turned off by cheap mobile VR, the Lenovo Mirage Solo and camera are definitely worth a look. And of course, I'll have a link to check out both these guys in the description, as well as if you want more information, I'll have a bunch of other videos linked as well. 